Hey everyone, Bethany Baytano Bay here, the internet's busiest music nerd. You just can't get rid of me. And it's time for a track review of the new Beyonce song, Formation. Good title. Queen Bay is out with a new track. She really needs no introduction at this point. You know who she is. International pop singing sensation. I mean, she's performing at the, the Super Bowl, for Christ's sake. And it would seem Beyonce is full of surprises lately with her 7-Eleven single and video, her last full-length album, which just dropped out of nowhere, had a bunch of music videos attached to it too. That album itself, I wasn't head over heels for it, but in a lot of ways, I thought it was her riskiest and most adventurous album to date. And it seems like Beyonce's taken a lot of risks with this new single over here too. Immaculately shot video, we're not going to get too into that, but I just will say, for the record, immaculately shot video. The track has a banger instrumental with razor sharp hi-hats just rattling away throughout much of the song, lots of sub bass, a good groove, and this very quirky plucked, ooh, very textured melody that I would not have expected to be in a Beyonce song. Would have thought it was a little weird, a little too left field for some Beyonce production. And yet it turns up here and Beyonce herself, I think matches the oddity of this instrumental with a bit more ferocity, uh, a bit more aggression, some charisma, some confidence, some cockiness. The track starts off super subdued with Beyonce talking about how her haters are throwing these Illuminati accusations at her. It's kind of odd to bring up now. I don't know if the Illuminati accusation thing is as popular as it used to be. Uh, I don't see it as much as I used to, but uh, maybe it still is. For the first few moments, the track is very spacey, very dark, kind of moody, and then almost instantaneously it changes flavors as the instrumental coasts up and Beyonce introduces to us this short little beautiful vocal harmony. The track gets some bass, gets a groove, and we're off. Lyrically, Beyonce's coming off kind of mean and sort of raunchy on this track, and I like it. It's sort of sexy. It's got a lot of sex appeal to it, in my opinion. In a way, it kind of reminds me of what Beyonce was doing on that Drunk in Love single, but it feels like she's pushing that attitude she had there a little further. She's taken out the glitz, she's taken out the class, and she's given us something that's just purely badass, at least on her terms. You could see it as Beyonce playing a role, you could see it as Beyonce being true to her roots. Either way, it seems like she's very effectively putting on this mean face, this tiger face, and she's very blatantly trying to reference her southern roots and saying that her mom's from here, dad's from here, she's still country, she keeps hot sauce in the bag. Probably a very expensive bag. Probably a very expensive designer bag that is worth as much as your house, but there's hot sauce in there. And there's even a big Frida vocal sample in this track, like lodged into the middle of the song, which was sort of odd, unexpected, but cool. The first half of the track structurally very much mirrors the second half of the track. I mean, we get another chorus, Beyonce's talking about the Illuminati accusations, but then all of a sudden, out of nowhere, we're getting these sharp, very nice horn floors in the instrumental that follow the vocals very closely. I love how the instrumental does have some detail to it. It's a poppy, immediate song, but it doesn't hand over everything right away. And then one of the oddest lyrical moments on the track, uh, something that actually kind of lit Twitter on fire, was this mention that when her man fucks her good, she brings him to Red Lobster. Th that's bay for you. You know why Jay-Z keeps her around? She gets him the Red Lobster. He, she, she hooks him up with that two-for-one deal at the Red Lobster. Hey, baby, you know what? I'm gonna spoil you a little bit. We're gonna get some Red Lobster. To be completely honest here, this is the best Red Lobster jingle I've ever heard in my life. So, you know, you do have to kind of see a bit of a divide there between, okay, you know, she's, she's down to earth, she's mean, she's fierce, she's cocky, she's confident, and she's country, but also, like, you know, we know that you're, like, one of the biggest selling pop stars of all time. So, I mean, yeah, come on. Still, though, I think Beyonce had a vision. I think she had a personality that she wanted to put through in a song that she wanted to put onto record. And I think she's doing that really effectively onto a track that has a lot of charisma, has a lot of character, is catchy, and is just fun to listen to. So, those are essentially my thoughts on the track. Tran! <laughs> Position. Have you given this track a listen? Did you love it? Did you hate it? What would you rate it? Boom. <laughs> Are you hoping a new Bay record is around the corner? I hope so. That'd be cool. That'd be nice. Um, and that's all I gotta say. Hope you're doing well. 
eat some fruits and veggies. Make sure you're hydrated forever.